we're talking with the creator himself, Adam Green. Congratulations on the premiere of Hatchet 3. Thank you. Can you uh, give us a little insight into what fans can expect this time around? Well, um, this is the conclusion to the story that I set out to make eight years ago. Eight years ago, we wrapped production on the first one, but 30 years ago, I came up with the character of Intercali. So it's been a long time coming, it's been an incredible journey, and the same crew has stayed together for all three movies. Um, even the cast, sometimes they'll be an actor in one movie, then they'll be a PA on the next one just because they want to be there. And like, Riley's done so many different things throughout the course of the series. From oh yeah, I do everything yeah. in this series. Uh, I did key makeup on the first two, and then um, I played young Victor Crowley in the first two. Uh, so I'm all under prosthetics, and then this one, I actually get to be myself. So. Yeah, she actually gets to show her real face yeah. and play a, a major role in the movie, yeah. and she's awesome. Well, and it's she, a gorgeous <laughs> face. Hello. Look, 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 check this out, right? <laughs> People are so confused. They're like, your wife is so hot. Why do you have her playing a deformed boy? And I'm like... <laughs> you have to be there. You have to be there. <laughs> yeah, why are you making her play? <laughs> I just have this fetish. It's weird. Uh -oh. It's weird. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> got fans all around. Yeah, yeah. well that's Mr. Crowley grabbing my ass, so you gotta be careful about that. <laughs> so, speaking of Victor Crowley, what do you think makes a killer iconic? The mythology. It's all about the mythology and the kills. Um, the Victor Crowley is a very sympathetic character. It's a very sad story. Hatchet 1 was very much a comedy with uh, scary kills in it. Hatchet 2 um, really threw some fans for a loop because it did get very serious and very dark when we told the real story of Victor Crowley because it's a very, very sad story. But that's what always made Frankenstein such a great character was that you felt badly for him and he doesn't mean to be doing what he's doing and he was done wrong. Even Freddy Krueger, there is an ounce of sympathy because was he really a child molester or not? Right. Um, Jason Voorhees, like, it was a mistake that he drowned. So, uh, yeah, the mythology and then having good signature kills. And I think that's the one thing that Victor Crowley has everybody beat on are the kills. I've never, I've never seen kills like this in another movie, have you? I mean, not in the same movie. Like, so what, what's your favorite kill? Do you have one? Um, There's so many good ones. Um, I mean, I like the, in the first one, there's a head rip that happens. It just like takes her by the mouth and just rips oh, her head. Yeah. That one's pretty good. Yeah, and that's sort of like his signature kill, I think. Well, listen, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. This is Lorna Paul from TheStream.TV, wrapping it up here at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood for the premiere of Hatchet 3.